Today in the Detail Garage, we're going to show you how to properly clean buffing pads. Now over time, when you're buffing with a machine polisher, your pads are going to become dirty with clear coat, paint, or they're going to have used or spent products stuck in the pad. Now today we're going to show you how to wash pads properly and how we do it right here in the Detail Garage using the Universal Pad Washer by Grit Guard. Now this is a pad cleaning machine that scrubs the pad and cleans and conditions in one single step. And we're gonna show you exactly how this works. Now let me explain to you why you have to clean pads. Now when you're polishing paintwork, you're actually pulling off a little bit of paint or clear coat. But where does that clear coat go? What happens to it? It actually gets trapped inside the old product or what's called spent product, and then it gets pulled into the foam, microfiber, or wool polishing pad. Now you need to clean this all out because when the pad gets stuck with polishing compound, or residue from the paint, it actually reduces the cutting power and your pads will start cutting less and less as you progressively polish in your job. Now it's best to clean the pads to make sure that they have the optimal cutting power and they're the most effective when polishing paintwork. So we're gonna use the universal pad washer to scrub the pads. Now as you can see, I have a huge almost basket right here of pads that I need to have clean from a class. Now the thing is I could take all these pads and I could sit in the sink and scrub them and they will get clean, but it's going to take me a long time. Now I'll place another link right here where Matt shows you how to clean pads using a pad cleaning brush and you can do it in a bucket. Now that's a very effective way, but there's a way faster way to do that and we're going to use the universal pad washer from Grit Guard. So let me tell you how this machine works. Now first of all, this is in a five gallon bucket, so it holds all the material very easily and you can roll it around. Now this cart is not included with the bucket, but I like to use it to sit on and take the bucket around. Let's open up and show you what's in here. Now first, what's in here is a grit guard. This is a grit guard. This is what scrubs the pad clean and it actually takes all the debris off. Now inside the pad washer itself, is a spring system. Here's a spring system right here. And there's all these different springs and pumps on the top. This pumps out fresh water into the pad with cleaner and then scrubs it clean. Now this also puts pressure on the pad as well to make sure it scrubs. Now inside this machine, I've already filled it up with water uh, from a hose. You can use any clean water and it will go ahead and scrub it. So as you can see, I filled it up with water using a hose and I filled it up to the right level. Now the right level is when you fully compress the springs and you want maybe an eighth or a quarter of an inch of water on the top of your grit guard, just enough to cover the grit guard and then we're ready to start cleaning. Now I'm going to install the splash guard. This is to keep me from getting all wet because I don't want to get my clothes dirty. So we'll put on that grit guard. There we go. So the grit guard, uh, splash guard is on top and let's show you how to clean some pads. Now this machine works with microfiber, wool and foam pads and it also works with dual action or rotary polishers. We're going to be using a rotary polisher. We're going to use the Flex PE14. It's one of my favorite rotary polishers. So let's start. Let's show you this is a real dirty pad. Now this pad's extremely, extremely dirty and we're going to go ahead and clean this off. Now for some reason this one has some type of staining on it. I don't know where this came from. Hopefully the pad cleaner will clean this off. We're also going to clean a microfiber pad and we're going to clean a brand new pad that I was just using that I need to use on a video that we're going to film next. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your buffing machine. We're going to use a rotary polisher and place your pad right on it. Make sure it's centered. There we go. Now we're ready to use. Now I'm going to add our cleaner to the bucket. You want to add uh, the proper cleaner to make sure that you do the job properly and we're going to be working with the chemical guys so fast pad cleaner. Now you could spray this directly on the pad or you can add it to the solution. I'm going to add it to the solution. You need to add one ounce to five gallons. So I'm going to add two capfuls to this bucket. There we go. And that'll go ahead and give me enough cleaning power to scrub the pad clean. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our pad, uh, our rotary polisher, and we're going to turn it to speed setting number one, the slowest setting. I'm going to take my pad and I'm going to put it inside the buffing machine and I'm going to close the uh, pad washer splash guard so I don't get myself wet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push a few times on the machine to make sure that I pump fresh water onto the pad and now I'm going to gently put pressure on the machine and turn it on. Now I'll open this up so we can show what's going on. Now inside the pad washer it's actually scrubbing the pad clean and taking off all the nasty dirt. 
and any type of spent product or any nasty polish that's stuck on the pad. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it scrub for a few minutes, let the foam build up inside the machine so we get a nice cleaning power. So now I've gone ahead and cleaned the pad, now I'm going to dry it out. So what I want to do is lift the pad off of the grit guard with the splash shield closed and I'm going to turn my machine up to the highest speed setting which is number six. Now I'm going to turn my machine on and let it spin for about 10 to 20 seconds and that's going to push out any cleaner and any type of water that's inside of the pad itself. It's going to make it dry and ready to use. So as you can see the machine's on high and spinning out all the water. So I've turned my machine off and let's look at the results. Now look at this pad. This pad is perfectly clean now. There's no spent residue. There's no clear coat stuck in the pad. And the best thing is that it's soft and conditioned because this machine doesn't just clean, it also conditions the pad as well. That means I can go ahead and take this machine and start polishing immediately. I don't have to let the pad dry because it's all ready to use. I'm gonna put this aside, and we're gonna clean a microfiber one too because this works on microfiber and wool, and I'm gonna show you how to condition the microfiber pad too. So let's take the microfiber pad and we'll put it on our machine. And once again, I'm gonna place it inside the polishing pad cleaner on speed setting number one and scrub it. So now after a few seconds, I've gone ahead and scrubbed the pad. Now I'm going to close my splash shield and turn my machine to speed setting six and turn it on. And it's going to dry the pad and push all of the water out. There we go. Now our pad is clean, but you notice this is microfiber. So you notice all the microfiber is pushed down even though it's clean. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our polishing pad brush. This is a polishing pad conditioning and cleaning brush. And I'm going to put the machine on my lap. And I'm going to turn the brush on. Just gently move it around. Now this is going to pull out any dead microfiber and then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to scrub and agitate back up the microfiber. Now look at that as you can see on the camera. This is the side that's all pushed down and this is the clean fluffy side. And I want all my microfiber to look just like that and this works with a wool pad too. And the reason I'm combing the microfiber is because I want that to fluff up and when the microfiber pad dries, if they're all fluffed up, they're going to dry nice and fluffy and like brand new. There we go. Now our pad is perfectly clean. Look, we have a perfectly clean microfiber and we also have a perfectly clean uh, foam pad. So just to show you the before and after, here's a dirty foam pad and here is a clean foam pad. It was able to pull out all the dirt, all the debris. And if your pad looks like this and you want it to look like this, these pads are both used pads. They've both been polished the same amount of time. They're both about a month old. And you can see this pad still looks brand new because it's always washed in the universal pad washer. Now all you got to do when you're done with this is go pour out all of the water that's inside this bucket, dispose of it properly, pour it down a sink or in a drain or anywhere that you can dispose of the water properly. Uh, and now your pads are all clean, they're ready to go. Just let them dry and store them in a nice place and you're gonna have good polishing anytime you go to do some paint correction. Now hopefully you guys like this video. I got a whole basket of pads I gotta clean so it's gonna take me a little while. Uh, but hopefully this video helps you out on how to keep pads clean and how professionals get the pads clean every time on the job. Now, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button and check out our other 700 videos that we have all over our channel. Hopefully we'll see you next time right here in the Detail Garage. Always remember to have fun, stay clean, and keep on detailing.